Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be covering the brand new gadget for Otis. So as you can see on the screen, got it unlocked, the fat splatters. So basically for four ticks, it deals 810 damage, equating to around 3,200 uh, damage. So it feels like it might be a good uh, gadget. Of course, Otis not the strongest. So let's see if this improves them. So before we jump into it, make sure you're using the credit code. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so jumping into the first again and trying out this new gadget. So I can remember, from testing it out on the dev board a little bit but like this gadget could have its uses but the only thing for me doesn't have like a slowing effect or really like stick to the opponent so still be a little bit frustrating to get any value out of it uh, but of course it's good for like keeping people away zoning them out and also good for like grassy maps like this because you can plant it in an area just like you would do with residue in a way and just prevent them from kind of pushing that area so it could be good in the first initial stages especially getting that pressure so it looks like my teammates are pretty much carrying me here should be able to get my supercharged up a little bit on rico so just overall mechanically like otis just isn't the strongest because it takes him so long to kill enemies in 1v1s. But his new star power should be coming out pretty soon. So if I remember correctly, I believe they kind of did this with Bonnie, how the brought out star power and gadget basically at the same time. So I'm hoping the Otis star power should be pretty soon and it should make him definitely a more viable brawler. So this is going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, so jumping into the second game then. So as I said before, I always compare the star power, well, the gadget to the other gadget that is out because of course that ultimately ultimately decides uh, whether the gadget is strong or not and of course the other gadget with otis uh, you know if you miss your super it just lies on the ground like a bell trap which is just so incredibly broken considering how strong the super is mechanically you kind of want to always have that so i'm going to use another gadget here to prevent the crow really from pushing up and it at least allows to buy my um, team a little bit of time he's going to push up regardless the thing about otis it's just even though he has this gadget that zones people off, people can just still run up against him because he just has no DPS. So it's a little bit frustrating to test things out when his other star power isn't out. I'm going to keep saying it, but it's just so bad right now. It's so annoying to try and play with him in the meta. That's why my Otis right now is at like 200 trophies because I just don't want to play him. I don't get satisfaction playing Otis because he feels so incredibly underwhelming. So Dennis should be able to at least get the Leon there. That is a really nice kill. Allows us to probably get up in time here. Let's see if we can get this Griffin timer as well. I'm just going to use my gadget to try and give us a little bit more time. It only deals, okay, at least for the first hit, you can get like that 800 damage. Maybe if you're lacking DPS with Otis, which is right now, it could be pretty strong. But we're getting spawn trapped quite heavily because we're using some trash brawlers right now. We're using Otis and Nita. Can't imagine we're going to win many games with this combination. So Crow is really annoying to face off against. I'm just going to pretty much just ignore him. Okay, Lilian is just going to destroy me in that 1v1 again because I haven't even got my super. But still, even if I had my super available there, I weren't killing them in time. The only way you can actually kill someone in time, basically right now with Otis, is if you've got your teammate right next to you. So, I've got to bear that in mind at all times. I'm going to take down that gadget. Leon is behind us. Still haven't even got close to my super right here. Uh, but it's just so frustrating. I'm just getting absolutely bodied right now. Let me know what you think of Otis in the comment section below. Because some of you guys still think Otis is somewhat usable, right? But I feel like whenever I'm playing Power League, I just never want to use this brawler. So I'm going to completely whiff my super there, which is really important. You want to use your super basically only in close range uh, interactions. Just because uh, you're not going to kill someone at long range. They're just going to run away, hide, and get so much value. So it looks like we're going to get... a you're enough for a triple kill there, I believe, which was pretty insane. So we're going to close out this game right here. Let's hop into the next one. All right, guys, jumping into the next game then. So I know I only uploaded a video literally last night, like 12 hours ago, but I had to get this video out ASAP. We don't normally let you know in advance when a gadget is coming out. So that's why I can't really pre-plan these videos. So I just basically got to upload them as soon as the gadget come out. So you guys can know whether if it's in the shop, you need to purchase it or whatnot. But I think so far from my first initial thoughts, I don't think it makes Otis really that much better of a brawler it is quite a fun gadget in a sense like you can uh basically paintball people and just deal a little bit of damage but it's not going to really change how strong he is in the meta so it's like this mortis is going to absolutely destroy his chaining on us like crazy he's going to basically get a triple kill and there's just no way i can do anything against any of them although otis is so good against aggro brawlers you're not going to cycle super enough to really stop them uh fully like i don't think it's actually that great of a tank counter right now so i'm going to use our gadget over there just to block off rico just a little bit 
our team is just getting absolutely wrecked right now and uh, hopefully i can get my super in time i don't think that's going to buy us enough time to stop this mortis star i'm just going to fly out my super just to try and buy us a little bit of time but that's really going to do nothing so that's going to be another game right there let's hop into the next one all right guys jumping into the next game then so just a few more to test out whether this uh, gadget is actually worthwhile using whatsoever so again, going to place my gadget down in the bush. At least that has its good usage right there. Uh, blocking off the enemies from entering up there. But I'm nowhere near my super. Unfortunately, I also would have been able to score this right here. I'm going to use my super on the Frank now. And I have no ammo, but should be able to score this one in right there. So a little bit of nice play on center stage. I've got to think that this has to be one of the best maps to use this gadget on. Because I feel like it's got the same use as uh, other gadgets and supers that can block off choke points. So we're going to push up here against the spike. Going to take him down. Getting close to our super again here. If the Mortis decides to come on in, he can't really do anything. We take away all of his ammo, everything that he has and just destroy him so that's going to be another game right there let's hop into the next game all right guys so jumping into the next game and so it's nice that we're facing off against mortis every single time that has to be one of otis's better matchups just because mortis has a little bit of a slow reload speed and you can kind of catch him off guard a lot of time because mortis heavily relies off his super and chaining to get any value so we're going to pop our gadget right here it's going to be a little bit annoying for cole to really get back here he has to push back so i mean it has its uses it's not definitely like really weak you know like some gadgets come into the game and they're like really 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 weak uh this one at least has some uh usage it also reminds me like uh i kind of uh i kind of a little bit preemptive to say that gadgets are like really broken now or like really strong because last time i said that bonnie stop i was strong and i was so wrong it was so incredibly poor and yeah i don't really want to make that mistake again so we do use the super on the surge there you can see there that i should have just ran up to the surge and use super in his face because i would have got some extreme value there but at least i pushed him back a little bit we're going to use my gadget over here just so it prevents enemies from picking up that ball a little bit to try and heal up as much as possible surge should be able to this game a little bit we were getting close to our super okay i was hoping the surge ran forward so then i could charge my super on the mortis unfortunately it takes me down so again it's gonna be so hard to actually win any 1v1 with otis right now that's why it makes him so stupidly weak we're whiffing all our shots right here but we're using our super on the mortis that was a little bit dumb of him he should, he should have probably just ran away uh knowing that i was really close to our super uh, but let's try and push up here surge he's just going to absolutely destroy us as well it's just going to be a con uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a montage of me just dying all the time because of uh, how poor this brawler is let's see we've got cole quite a lot of hp here mortis was super as well so we kind of need to make a push up now else they're definitely going to score right here so mortis he's going to chain on me on jesse there's nothing we can do uh, thankfully dennis gets the ball away a little bit he buys a little bit of time cole absolutely shredding with that super i don't think i'm close to super in time i haven't got the dps to really do anything or stop that it's a really unfortunate another thing about otis is that it just has no uh, knockback or cancellation feature so it reminds me of uh, you know other tanks tank counters that don't really have that pushback like you think that they can destroy tanks but there's a lot of better options out there like gale for example he's got two uh ways of pushing back the uh, tanks so we should be able to get mortis down here if carl wants to super we're gonna just <laughs> we're gonna super him so we can't even gadget shoot or super or do anything like that uh, we're just gonna waste time a little bit here wait for the walls to break and that should be the game right there so let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this gadget for me it's an all right gadget as i said it will have its uses on its maps early on you know i can think of dueling beetles a good another map where you might be able to get some good pressure with this gadget because you can just throw it out straight away uh, but overall i still feel like when otis gets the second star power the other star power will be a little bit better just because you don't really want to waste that super right so it allows you just to throw it out and then recharge your next super so that's going to be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time